about uh, 25 away from 7 o'clock. Woody here with you on Wig Wam Bam. Uh, we kicked off that bracket with the XX uh, London group who were in town last week. A song called Crystallized. Uh, hot chip from their new one, I Feel Better. Uh, the Dirty Projectors, who are about to be in Australia in about a month's time, playing at the Hi-Fi and the Golden Plains Festival and Useful Chamber. Uh, we heard from the new Pikelet record, which is called Stem, a song called Swooping Buzzards, and Jens Lechman, A Sweet Summer's Night on Hammers Hill. And both of those artists are going to be involved in uh, what should be a great show on Wednesday night at a great venue, the Bella Union Room at Trades Hall. It's the uh, debut performance by Swedish performer Frida Havonen, who uh, is in the studio. Yes, hello. Thanks for coming in. Mm, thank you. Uh, you mispronounced my name a little. Oh, how do you pronounce your name? Frida Havonen. Havonen, yes. okay. I was going to ask you how to uh, <laughs> pronounce your hometown as well. Oh, yeah, it's Flarken. Where are you originally from? Uh, I grew up in Robertsfors. Oh, yeah, that was yeah. me. Robertsfors. You have to roll on the R's. I had a look, Swedish, at, yeah. I had a look at that town. And it, seemed, every, it says every notable person is you or the, a member of the Sahara Hot Nights. Yeah. Josefine, who is the drummer of Sahara Hot Nights, is my cousin, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Another yeah. Swedish band that have toured here. Yeah. Yeah, and, that. and that's a really small... Uh, it's just a couple of thousand people live there, is yeah, that right? something like that. It's super small. It's not much to do. It's getting smaller every day. It's like people, yeah. <laughs> people are dying and no one is moving in. So. And you're not based there anymore? Um, I'm based, I'm based, I don't know where I'm based, but um, I have a house close by. I bought a house three years ago in the countryside, outside of, um, outside of that um, small town, in an even smaller village that's called Flarken. So that's where I have my house and my, my grand piano and my my soon-to-be studio. Yeah. yeah you're right. You've just been in Bali for a month. Yeah. Performing? I was, um, yeah, I, I did a couple of performances. I, I was an artist in residence in a, in a fancy, nice resort. Um, so I was composing. I'm writing music for a feature film in Sweden. So I'm, I was composing... I had a villa with a grand piano. I was sitting composing every day. And then I made two concerts there for the people, for the guests and the people who worked there. So, wow. Yeah. Good times? Yeah, really good times. Mm. Escaping the Swedish winter? Yeah. It was nice to get, a, a, to get time to hang out with the ocean. Mm. It turned out to be a very nice fella. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Frida Huvenen. Yes. In the studio, just getting used to the pronunciation. Oh, uh, it's close to perfection now. Close, yeah. Oh. Great version just there. We were talking about off air of uh, American singer songwriter who's sadly no longer making music. Uh, Judy Sill, Jesus was a crossmaker, and uh, you were telling us you recorded that all by yourself, yeah. uh, including all the backing vocals, yeah. etc. It was a really low budget, and I wanted to be on that um, compilation. With it was a or a tribute to Judy Seal. Uh, I heard about it, and I contacted them and said, "Like, I want to be in, the, in in this tribute, and I want to record this song." And it was a really low budget, so I just had to do it in my own house by myself. Mm. She had a pretty full-on life, Judy Seal, isn't it? Insane. Do you know much about it? <laughs> I don't know much about it, and it's so hard. Like you, you Google her, you know, and. Uh, I mean, it's so hard to tell if it's what is true and what is not. And but she wrote an awful lot of good songs. Yeah, I think. Yeah, that's what matters. I know a guy in Melbourne's trying to write a, a screenplay based on her life. Oh. yeah, he's trying to put it together. Maybe all the myth, you know, hmm. around Judy Seal. So I'm sure if he does it, Neil Sweeney, that will be very good. Mm. Yeah. Um. So you just you've been rehearsing this afternoon. Is it solo or are you playing with a band on Wednesday night? Uh, I'm playing with a. Small band. It's um, uh, Evelyn from Pikelet mm -hmm. and uh, Monica. Um, and so, so yeah, they're from Melbourne. So we just met and we're rehearsing now. Because uh, my 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 regular band is back in on the west coast in Sweden. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And you were saying before that a lot of your friends from Sweden have been here and, and raved about Melbourne. What's your initial impressions? Have you been here just for today? Um, yeah, I came yesterday morning from Bali. And, um, no, I think it's really nice. It's, I mean, it's super hot now. 
although I was prepared from being in Bali. And the humidity lowered itself with perhaps 90% when I when I came to Melbourne from, from Bali. But um, otherwise, no, I think it's, uh, it seems really beautiful. And, and I was, I've had a slight phobia for Australia since I was little. Really? So, yeah, so I'm very proud of myself that I'm, that I'm here now. <laughs> An anim- animal-based phobia? Uh, no, not at all. But uh, I think it might be based on... My cousin lived here for a few years, and she always told me about... Uh, she, lived in, she lived in Sydney, yeah. but in Australia. Mm. She told me about the beaches and the, the surf life and the barbecues and hanging out in big crowds. And I was just like, oh, <laughs> yeah. I'll never go there. So I think that might be it. So I'm... Mm, other than that, it was just you know the, the thought of some like a country far away that's that has f- what is for me exotic nature, and where people still have kind of the same pop culture as we do, you know. Uh, just that thought is a bit um, hard for me to grasp. But now I'm here, it seems completely normal. Mm. What do you mean by big cr- the big crowds? I thought we were supposed to be sparse with no people. Oh no, she was talking about that. That yeah. her life was like that. Um, that they were hanging out in big crowds, which was something that scared me a lot because I I, I didn't really like that when I was a teenager. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, good to Do have you, you here. Finally, now? I understand. <laughs> yeah. um, thanks a lot for coming in. Yeah, thank uh, you. Enjoy your two shows in Australia. Oh, thank you. And uh, we'll play a track off uh, Silence Is Wild, your more recent album. Uh, this song is called Dirty Dancing. <laughs> 